Hello again folks, this is Bob and in this video I'm going to help you hex and prepare your model for sounds to be played as animations play. Uh, again, we're going to be using XVI32 and we're also going to be using um, our text editor here too. Uh, again, I highly recommend Notepad++. Anyway, by now we've already hexed and renamed our models, so let's get going. In fact, I'm looking at these this stuff here, we got our materials, models, and sound folder. And I'm just going to make it easy right now. I'm going to move my stuff into the uh, add-on folder I'm going to be using. So you go to Gmod add-ons, wherever you store yours, I don't really care. Got my weapons. And here is this folder that was probably going to look just like this when you download it. This is going to be the uh, place where all the, um, the weapon base and the necessary materials are. But we're going to want to put our stuff in there. So just move them on over. Not very difficult at all, is it? Okie dokie. Let's get going. Now the sounds are coming out of the view model, so we're going to need to edit that. Here we are. Now we're going to hit Control F and search for weapons underscore, and usually that'll find it. And here we are. Weapon underscore M4A1 dot clip out. We're going to have to give this a unique name with the same number of characters just like we did before. So let's see. Test rifle. rifle. I keep doing that. Test rifle one dot clip out. That'll do just fine for now. Now remember, we're going to go and rename all of the sounds. Now, if you want to skip forward a little bit, you're not going to hurt my feelings none. So I'm just going to rename a couple of these. Test score rifle one dot clip in. Test rifle one mag tap. Test rifle one bolt pull. Test rifle one. Deploy. Now we have to rename these because weapon underscore M4A1 is probably taken by another model and we're going to have to give it a new name so we don't overwrite someone else's sound. Test rifle one dot silencer on. Now, when you find the last one, keep searching because you never know when you'll find another sound that you didn't catch earlier. Keep on going, keep on going. And oh boy, look at that. Weapon underscore M4A1 dot clip out. I knew that was there because this is a model that comes with a silencer. If your model can be silenced, it'll have two different reload and stuff animations. That means you'll have the sounds listed twice. When that happens, you're going to have to rename all the sounds twice. So, go ahead and start renaming them again. Just underscore rifle one, that clip out. Just like before, we're using the same number of characters. Damn it, that's what happens when I talk and type. I mean, this isn't anything you haven't done before so far. Probably skipped by now. Almost there. Keep on searching, keep on searching, and I don't see any more. That's cool. Now let's go back up to the top. I don't want to close this just yet. We're going to need to get back to. Damn it. I don't want to close this just yet. We're going to need to get to these names again. So I just keep it, you know, off to the side. Anyway, we're going to need to edit our auto run file. I keep my sounds in my auto run file, it's just easier for me to work that way. You see other stuff that I keep here, some kill icon stuff, console variables. But down here, toward the bottom, damn it, is where I keep the sound scripts. These right here. This one is for the gunshot sound, and this one is for other sounds. You can see the difference is this Chan channel here. This one is Chan user base plus 10 and this one is channel item. I've noticed that if you use uh, the default weapon channel for gunshot sounds people can you know cheat and mute their sounds by doing something I'm not going to explain here but yeah I just use weapon base Chan user base 10 
But before we go on and start doing this, we're going to need to make sure of something. We don't want our sound files to overwrite the default sound files. So we're going back here, going to Sound, Weapons, M4A1, and here's our stuff. Now I like to keep careful. I'm just going to rename the M4A1 folder. I'm going to name this Test Gun. Not even going to put a space in there. And there's our stuff. Okay, well let's get starting. What's our gunshot sound going to be? Well, let's name, give it a name. Uh, I don't know. Test underscore gun underscore shot. I don't use spaces here. I haven't tried doing it with spaces. I don't recommend you do. I mean, work with the system that is proven to work. Now, what's our folder name? Test gun. So we got sounds. Don't need to include the sound folder there. Weapons, test, gun, and let's see, M4A1-1. M4A1-1.wave. Now, this is something pretty cool here. If you look over here, you see we have two different sounds that we could use for, um, for our gunshot. Number one and number two. I want to use them both. So let's just make them a table. We're going to use our curly bracket and a comma. I'm going to do it again. I always keep them on different lines, just makes it easier for me to work with. And the closing curly bracket. Easy stuff. Jesus, I can't do anything right. Okay, that's that. Now let's look at our other sounds. These are sounds that are going to be called during our animation, and we need their names. That's why I didn't close this yet. So the name here for a clip out is test underscore rifle one dot clip out. Test rifle one dot clip out. Try to keep things case sensitive. Again, work with what you know works. Weapons test gun. Now, what's our sound file here? Aha! M4A1 underscore clip out. M4A1 underscore clip out. Oh, another thing. This model here comes with silent sounds, and it comes with the silencer, and we will be using that. So let's get ready to use those silent sounds. We're going to copy this. And we're going to name it Test Gun Silent. And what's the song? Unseal 1 and Unseal 2. Oh, I screwed up. This should be Unseal 1 and Unseal 2. Because these are unsilenced. And these are going to be our silent sounds. Anyway. Yeah, we've already done the clip out sound, so let's copy that and we're going to do it again, this time for test rifle dot clip in. Out is now clip in. We're going to rename the sounds to M4A1 underscore clip in. And keep doing this. Keep doing this for all the different sounds here. If you come across a sound that you've already made a sound script for, don't bother doing it again. I don't know if they'll neither of them work. I don't know if you'll choose a random one. Just do one because you know that one will be just fine. That's it, guys. That's all there is to it. You just keep doing this for every sound script you got. You do that, I'll do that. No sense in me making a video of about 20 minutes worth of sound recording, and I'll see you in the next video.